yet another beautiful day to remind you we live in a lawless country. Now here's the reason I said so. Directives has been given to release Baba Idesha from custody because there is not enough evidence to hold him. Also, because of the ongoing strike by uh, members of the Judiciary Staff Union of Nigeria, which made it impossible for the court to sit. So, he can't be detained without trial. He can't be detained without trial. This is Nigeria. This is a typical way of treating the rich and famous in Nigeria. Please, why did you do this to me, Rumu Piri? Please, I don't want them. I know you are saying you are sorry, but I know you. Did I do anything to you? No, no. Why would you molest a seven-year-old? I'm saying almost seven plus. You are telling me pay is the devil. Fine. You have not even answered my question. Why molest a seven-year-old? Is that true? Is it right? I understand him now. She was so English. No, no, the thing is that that is my her when she was seven, and then he came now that she's fourteen. So do it again. Okay, why do it again now? Why do it again now? Okay, tell us why do it again now? No, but why why do it again now? I'm going to come. Why why do it again now? Why do it again now? Why do it again now? We've seen his confession of the, to the crime, yeah? He admitted he did this seven years ago. He admitted he came back seven years after to do it again. He did it again. He was caught in camera. His confession is, was recorded. But still, there is no enough evidence to detain him. So when I say we live in a lawless country, no, no, no. why would you molest a seven-year-old? Why would they want to release him? Is his confession not enough to send him to jail? Is it not enough? Here is a clip of him confessing to the crime, and still. They are saying it's not enough to detain him. Why? Right now, some Nigerians are outside the the um, prison where he's being held up. They are protesting. They are protesting because we can't we can't take it. We're not stupid. And the sad part is, um, people are still asking to see the tape to see where he was molesting this girl. Some of you are not saying you should post the video of the child that was being molested. Even again, what do you want to get? Even if you hate me, even if you don't like me as a person, how can you? No, I say so. No, I say so. I get that. I be not make that. No, I say so. <laughs> Some people were even calling me, <laughs> trying to threaten me. <laughs> Why? Why? You are literally asking to see child porn. You know that. If the words of the mother, if the words or the video you've seen so far doesn't tell you enough that you need to know. Seek, looking for that video is probably just to please yourself and you're not different from him they are pedophiles they are rape apologists 
whether you like it or not you're also a rapist if you can be defending someone who did such an act you are a rapist i watched um the video of from princess who was um the care who was taking care of this girl <laughs> I like the fact that celebrities are lending their voices because enough is enough. If it doesn't happen to you today, it's going to happen to you tomorrow. It's gonna happen to someone close to you, or it's gonna happen to your own child, right? He molested the child and raped the child seven years ago, like the child said. He was invited over. They set him up by putting a camera, and eventually he fell. Right? Why did he fall? That's the question number one. Number two. Yes, we cannot judge him now because you know why. We have to leave that to the court to do, the judges to do. So until we wait for the final verdict. I just read online now that Larry Omi Kaiki Babajesha might be released on Friday on bail because the charge was not sexual assault. because the CCTV did not show him having sex with the girl. That the CCTV just showed him touching the girl's body. So it's not sexual assault. So it's a billable offense. And that since the crime happened seven years ago and was not reported, so it is 30, 20, one thing like that. I don't understand. There are a lot of young people behind bars without trial. But because our favorite is our favorite celebrity, is our own person, is our you want to release him because the court is on strike and you don't have enough evidence to hold him back. Meanwhile, they see, they, we've not seen the recording, we've not seen the CCTV footage of the actual incident, but the recording of him confessing to the crime is enough evidence that we need. We don't, we don't even need to see the, um, whatever, the harassment anymore. We don't need to see it. The confession, it, 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 where he was admitting that is it, why? I'm saying almost seven plus. You are telling me pay is the devil. I'm fine. Uh, I'm the good devil. Not the 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 devil. Not be best friends with your children. Let them have that level of friendship with you where they want to open up and tell you anything and everything. You shouldn't be scared to talk to you. You shouldn't be scared to talk about the body parts, the private parts. Call these places by their names. Don't give them nicknames. Oh, that's a PP -P, and that's your tuk tuk and that's your okay, this, this. No. If it's a penis, call it a penis. If it's the breast, call it the breast. If it's a vagina, call it the vagina. So these kids will know that they this is this and this is that. Nobody should touch you here, okay? Nobody should touch you there, okay? If anybody says this word to you, come report to me. Talk to them like they're your friends. Talk to them like, don't talk to them like they're your kids anymore. You have this level of trust and communication with your kids. They shouldn't be scared to tell you certain things. They, they didn't always believe you have their back, 
like so that when people are threatening when someone is threatening when that one uncle is threatening if you tell your mommy i will do with this they will be able to like there's nothing you can do to my mommy has my back i will tell her this should be a wake-up call this should be a wake-up call because pedophiles like they don't live very far from you they could be your neighbor it could be your cousin yeah that case is where cousins molest their other cousins that case is where fathers molest their kids let's be open to talk that your kids shouldn't be scared to talk to you you're their friend you're the mother fine you're the father fine but you should be their friends too some parents have have made their kids so scared they've built this wall around them that their kids can't even come through to talk to them about things that's not how it's supposed to be that's why you see most people traumatized most people they have all sort of mental illness because of the things they've gone through as as kids most of them can't even talk about it and that's another thing about this whole situation with the way the police are handling this thing who, who wants to come up now to tell you about this person raped me because nothing is going to be done at the end of the day that's all, the only thing is that your face just be everywhere as someone who was raped and then the stigma follows you everywhere you go that's all nothing is going to be done at the end of the day this is supposed to be used as an example set use this baba itesha issue as an example to all other pedophiles all other rapists that no matter who you are no matter your level in society there is going to be judgment upon you when you do things against the law nobody is supposed to be above the law nobody is supposed to be above the law but look at where we live in yeah nigeria anything you do can go now there's another video going around uh, where men in uniform were harassing passengers to go in their vehicles. Just take a look at this. Shout to me. I don't tell you to get No shout. Don't be talking about for there. You see that spy? No shout. Is the driver's license not there? You want to sign the goddamn car for what? No, well, I don't want to. That's my country right there. Okay. You ask for people I give you. You ask for driver's license I give you. You say you want to the car. You keep anything. You keep anything inside. Okay, make I search you before I search the car. You say no. You are wise, Abby. This is very wrong, and this is just because I am white in the car. Can you imagine? Yes. Can you imagine? In your country, yes. camera for yes. America. They first, got camera. First. So you look at camera. Go put something inside. First. first. Did you present? Did you present any ID? Did you present any ID? Did you present? Did you present? Oh. How should I know who are you? Maybe you just wore this uniform. Did you present your ID? Yeah, no, no. 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 Get sure, because they've seen a foreigner in the car. They're expecting some money. Forgetting that, in as much as the, our laws don't function in our country, it functions in other countries. Coming down to someone's vehicle, they don't need to come there, want to harass them. On what basis? Okay, can I see your ID? You won't show me your ID, but you want to come search my car. Because they're asking them, let me see your ID first. You hear? Can I see your ID? You say, I'm going to take it to this office. I'm going to take it to the station. Okay, let's go. But once you open your bag and give them money, they'll let you go. Trust me. They'll let them go if they had given them money. They'll let them go. So, as I said, This is a reminder of the lawless country we live in.